all right welcome back so in today's topic i'm going to explain css overflow so overflow property controls the content inside a block which means uh, whenever we have a fixed width or fixed height and if the content is getting uh, overlap outside the block okay then we use overflow property so let's try to see an example here okay i'm creating a page a simple page like overflow demo so here try to use a simple div block and give a fixed height or width for this property so use style element and in this style element i am applying the property like width 200 pixels and height 200 pixels after applying this, let's apply a simple background color gray. Save this and try to paste some content here. So I have a paragraph, uh, a dummy paragraph. So save this, check in the page. All right. Okay. Not this flow. Okay. So if you see here, this is my block which has height of 200 and width of 200 however my content is outside the block because the height of the width is not uh, within the content so how do i control this data using overflow property so simply you can say here overflow hidden so if i am using hidden property the content outside the div element is hidden we are not able to see that content because hidden is nothing but it is not displaying and visible is a uh, one we are seeing before so if you are refreshing you are able to see the content if you are able to see the content but however i don't want to see uh, the content outside this div block for that we need to use another value called scroll for that we need to use another property called scroll so when you are using scroll pro value so let's see what happens if you observe here a vertical scroll bar is applied a vertical scroll bar is applied which means the content inside that by this uh, within the 200 pixels of height we can see the whole content by using scroll bar However, we can also use another property value called auto. So what it does, we will see. So there is no difference at this point. However, if we have less content, it will not display. So this is a paragraph inside the something like this. Refresh. Now you can see that my scroll bar is gone when I am using auto property. If the content is out um, is more or if it is saying if it is touching the end of the uh, block then it will apply the scroll automatically right so for that I am just adding the same content again and again okay save this refresh still it is not applied because the content is within the div element so let's do one more thing paste more okay so since the content is more now it automatically applies the scroll bar and we can also use another property called overflow x-axis overflow y-axis so take another div block here div uh, i am applying a class here so overflow overflow horizontally so here i am writing some a paragraph for some content here and the second div element i say dot my what is that overflow div horizontal here i am saying the same like width as 200 pixel and height as 200 pixels and i'll apply a different background color hello so save this so we have another one and you can see that there is a scroll bar applied automatically right so this is the overflow x-axis however uh, this is inherited by the parent save this refresh okay uh, overflow horizontal take out this refresh all right 
so you can see that when i want to place this content inside this div block and i want to apply a horizontal scroll i can use another property here called overflow x-axis scroll so inside this div block inside this div block we will see a scroll bar okay horizontal scroll bar so similarly if you want a vertical scroll bar you can use overflow y-axis so these are the some of the common properties uh, for the css overflow thanks for watching please subscribe